Hello everyone, in this video I will show you the Luxon Mini Server and work with Kinkone Relay Controller. We have designed the new firmware for the Kinkone 32 channel Relay Controller so that you can easily integrate this Relay Controller to Luxon system very easily. And the control relay output and the read relay state and the read the input state by the UDP command. So that will be very stable and uh, fast. So we have designed the new firmware that for H32B and this you can see that is H32B Pro. So B Pro will support and also we can see that is H32BS. So this three controller we have make the new firmware for it. And in this video I will show you by this H32B for example and how to integrate to the Luxon system and the second, I will show you how to use the Tuya application and work with the Luxon at the same time because some user will ask me if the Luxon is broken or is bad so that the Alva is a bank up way use Tuya system for remote control by internet Okay, let's begin You can see the first, we can connect the network cable at the H32B and this is the power, power supply and connect it. Okay, you can see this is our computer and this is a Kinkone form. We have uploaded the new firmware. You can see this is H32B and H32BS and H32B Pro. Now I have used H32B, but all is the, the way is the same. So you can click and you can see uh, that is a new firmware for 5.06 that will be a uh, Look some integration option in web page, and we have uh, used the look some config file and create the demo for you so that you will easily to continually and read the list state and read the input state very easily. And you can download the uh, project look some project at here. And this is added the UDP command at this new firmware. So let's look at how it works in details. And the first, we want to control the relay on and off. So you can see that is the document you can find in software and document. And here we check the HTTP command because we use HTTP command to control relay on and off. So you can see here is the command. We can copy and paste it here. That is very easy just for on and for off. So you can see here, and H32B, that is a config web page. So you can see, after I upload the new firmware, you can log in, and you will see uh, this is the new version. And the, there are many protocol, TCP server, TCP client, UDP, and Luxon integration. So you just want to use the Luxon system, you just click enable. And if you don't want to use it, you just disable. So that will be very easy for integration. If you want to add the home assistant, and you can integrate the MQTT. So this different protocol can work at the same time, even if you can see there are two year system. At last step, I will show you how to it work with the two year system. And the first time we we just enable this and work with the Luxon mini server. This is your mini server IP address, and this is the mini server part of the UDP. So you can see here uh, that we have created the demo and I have created the King Kong Relay Controller and this is a virtual input that for read the relay state and the digital input state for the sensor and this is output. You can see here that is virtual output and click at here. We can use the command. You can see here that is address this is address of the H32B relay controller and this I have created uh, two relay, relay 1 and relay 2 you can see this address uh, that is controller address we can let it become small just this controller address so you just copy and paste it here uh, for the H32B and the relay 1, relay 2 you can see uh, that just copy and paste this command for on and this command for off so you can see what I have paste 
we can copy it here. You can see I, I just copy and paste it here. Just these sections. And this is the password. The post password, why is 12345 and not this one? It's set by yourself. Uh, you can see uh, this controller web page settings and you can see there is an option that is post password if you set 12345 so you password the, the url that is 12345 if you want change to 123456 and you will just change to 6 so this according to your setting so i'm i'm just set to the 5 so this is for on, and another command, you can see that is off. Also, I can copy and paste that here. So you can see this is off, so this is off command. So you can see uh, just similar as these sections. So you can see that is really one off, really one is on. So if you want to uh, create the second or the third, you just change to really two, really two or really three. So that will be very easy uh, for create the relay one and the on and the for off. So you can see we have create relay one. This is on stream and this is off stream and this is relay two. Uh, you can see uh, that is relay two and this is relay two. So I have create. So you can see uh, this is for relay one uh, output and relay two output. This I have used a switch. The switch you can see here, uh, you can add the function from here. Just this switch, no feedback the state, release state. And this switch, the push button, EIB, that will feedback the release state. So you can see uh, that have a switch button, just use this one, that will feedback the state. Later I will show you how it works. And you can see the release date for the input and for release date 2. And I have created this two relay. You can see the looks on web page. So you can see here that is web page. Uh, this this one, the first, this is the first, just this component. And this have feedback, have feedback is this one. So you can see I can on you can see uh, this relay is on and this relay is off but also you can see I can turn on relay 2 uh, this is on and this is off now I will show you an example you can see if I use this web bar and you can see uh, I will test uh, from the web page uh, from h32b web page you can test with remote or you can test with the wall switch you can see here if i click on but look on application not on i press off is not is not update the state so you can see this relay two i can turn on relay two you can see the look on app is feedback so you can see i can close it also is feedback so this relay will feedback the state and update the state in Luxon application. Uh, later, I will show you it will update uh, between the two application. So this is not not update, and this can be update. So this is a different components. Uh, this have update and this without update. Okay. We can turn on and turn off relay is very easily. Uh, just use this two stream. So you can create uh, the relay one, two, three, four until 32 channel relay. You ju just copy and paste uh, by these components is very easy. Okay, now let's look at how to read the relay state and the feedback the relay state. You can see my relay state, uh, channel two will feedback the state. I can click this one and you can see here that I have used the UDP feedback, uh, just the UDP input command by this component. And you can see that is the command for 
recognition. So you can see our UDP command at here. You will see that is for the feedback, the release date. So you can see uh, this example, we can copy and paste that here. That means relay one is on. That means relay two is off. So this is relay number, uh, one, relay, relay one or relay two or relay three or relay four. So this means on is one and off is zero. So if it really is on, so this is one. So we just need to know this bit is one or this bit is zero. That means the relay is on and off. So you can see my looks config, looks on config. And at here, that is cognizing. I can copy and paste it here. So you can see we can just get the string begin with this string and at last you can just compare this this number uh, maybe is one or maybe is zero so we can just use this uh, v slash v so it's just you can see i can set it here that is for really two if you want to compare with really one you just change to one if you compare with really three you just change to three, so that will be very easy. This is really state one, uh, really state two. So you can see, I click this one. Uh, this you can see, that is really state is one. So you can create really state three, really state four, really state five until really state thirty two, and you can see the state. Uh, we can use my web page use my web page you can see if I click we need to start start leaving so you can see when I click really one you can see it have really really one state just off so why not should in the web page I just not use this component I have used the really one with this component. So you can replace this component with this one. So that will be feedback to the web interface uh, to your application. So you can see here, I can click this two, listed the two, and off. And this is speed feedback by the UDP. Really one, really two, and off, off. And you can see this really state. And list it, list it will output 0 or 1. So you can see we can define that is value 0 or value 1, just these two numbers. And this you can check this one, and the mini and the max is 0 and 1. And it place this equal components and input here and back to the switch at here. So that will relate to state will update with the wall switch. So you can see we click relay two is on. This is one and this is one and this is on to the switch. And we can click off. So you can see this is zero and zero and off and back to the switch. And now let's look at the input. The input, you can see here, that have six channel input. If I shot for the input one, and you can see uh, this become yellow. So that have detect, and I release that is recover. So this can in connect with your sensor, many drag contact sensor, uh, door sensor, smoke sensor, gas sensor, many sensors connect to the input, and you can use the input for automation. And we can click this one. And about the input, how to compare this, we can see this protocol at here. And you can see uh, that is digital input 
uh, such as this one. That means the channel 2 is triangle. I can copy and paste that here. That means the channel 2 is triangle. If not triangle, just will feedback 0. So this is the channel number and this is for triangle or not triangle. So you can see it here how to uh, get the input one. You can see input one. We can use this recognition. So I can copy and paste it here. You can see I how to set it. So also we can begin with this stream and use this slash v and we just get this number is zero or is one. And now you can see this looks an application. So you can click room and click living room. And you can see here, just turn on and turn off, and turn on and turn off to control this H32B. Now you can see I can turn on uh, this relay 2 and turn off this relay 2. And also I can use the web page. You can see I can turn on relay 2. And this is mobile phone application with feedback. And you can see I turn off and also I can let this web page at here. So this is from the PC. This is a PC. And at here, at here. And you can see on and the mobile phone and the relay and off mobile phone and the relay. You can see on, off, on, off. Okay, this is how to integrate the H32B and to look on is very easily. Now let's look at how to use Tuya application. So that you can remote control by the internet. You can see our web page and uh, here we can back and back. Here you can see the section of the Tuya. So if you want to use the Tuya application, so you need to buy the Tuya license from us. So you can see here that have uh, some details how to order the Tuya license for King Kong's product. And you need to check uh, which ac Tuya account in which range and check at this address. And because Tuya have many cloud server uh, such as American, Western, and Central Europe, and uh, Indian and China. So you can see here, have just at here, just five USD for every Tuya lessons for one board. So you can see, you can also uh, from uh, this AliExpress King Kong official store, you can buy the Tuya lessons, uh, just five USD, uh, just five US dollars, uh, no time limit, uh, just from one board. If you have two board, you need two different Tuya lessons. So this is how to order Tuya lessons. And if you have get the Tuya lessons, that will be very easy to use the Tuya. You can see here, uh, such as I have this two year lessons. So you just need to enable and choose your lo server location because I'm two year account in China, so I choose the China. And uh, other information, just copy and paste, uh, copy and paste. Because after you buy the lessons from King Kone, we will send you the information, uh, just this information, we'll send it by email and copy and paste and this is for QR code and click it here now you just click save and will be reboot so that will be easy to use the Tuya application to configure the h to b okay well after reboot you can log again I need to wait for a moment the logging and you will see here that have showed the QR code for Tuya application. So now we can use my mobile phone. Uh, this is my mobile phone. You can see I can use the Tuya application, the Smart Life or Tuya. 
and click scan QR code uh, to my scan QR code to my computer okay you can see after scan QR code that have h 32 be found we can click down and this time you can see that is output for the h 32 b and you can see I can click output 1 you can see here output 2 that you can see uh, the relay 2 is updated state because we have created the 32 channel only the relay 2 have feedback function by the lock sound system so you can see I can click all on uh, by this two yeah and this is feedback uh, to two yeah application and off okay uh, now this you can see the output web page and this input uh, this six channel input you can see when I shot the input input one and you can see uh, the input one is turn green and this I shot for the input two this input 2 and I shot the input 6 this is 6 I remove this will recover so now you can see I can use these two mobile phone application at the same time so you can see uh, I can let you clearly relay 2 on and the 2 ya yeah. feedback is on you can see because it's by the call server and the we are off this update off and the relay is off so you can see I can turn on off on off and on off on off and this on this off this on and this off so you can see this is two mobile phone application work at the same time and just for on and for off now I will show you how to use the momentary time just uh, for the auto off function for the relay output because sometimes you will use for the door lock and sometimes just want use a pause output so you can see here such as I want to relay to well turn on every one second or every two seconds will be off so you can see I just check this enable and we'll use the momentary function and the momentary time I can set the two seconds I can just click save and now you can see I can click this one really two is on they will be off auto off at two seconds late so you can see I can click this one so this function not needed to set in lock sound system just according to h 32 beep that is uh, controlled and managed by this hardware so that will be stable and by hardware is built so you can see I can click it here that will auto off click to ya will auto off and update the state so this will auto off and this also will auto off and if you connect the switch panel uh, from this h 32 b also will out of okay this is how to use the h 32 b integral to look sound system and work at by two different mobile phone applications at the same time thanks for watching